Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Let's talk about lasers. A bunch of people, because we talked about DLP and LCOS systems, asked about what about laser projection? Laser projection is awesome. Um, because you're working with light that is going to travel in a very straight line as opposed to light like off of a regular projector that bends, you don't have to worry about adjusting the focus. Lasers literally go through and say pixel, 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 and the farther away you get, the slightly larger the dots get. So you don't have to adjust for focus. The downside to laser projection, however, is that you can't do lens-based keystoning. So when you have a regular projection system, because the projector isn't necessarily sitting in the center of the screen an exact distance away, the top or the bottom may cause it to create a tr trapezoid. That trapezoidal effect is called keystoning. With laser projection, you can't optically adjust for the keystone, so you have to do it digitally. This sometimes creates some funny artifacts. It isn't a problem if you've got a rear projection screen, um, the ones that look like a big DLP television, um, because they've already done all of the calculations for that, and it's just kind of built in in the way that they present the, the technology. But it is a problem if you've got a Pico Pocket projector or one of the other systems that uses laser projection because then whenever you aren't straight on to whatever you're projecting you're going to end up with this trapezoid. Uh, it's also a problem if you've got a home theater set up where you want the projector very near the ceiling but you want to project down. If you're not projecting at the same angle that the projector was designed to do you're going to end up with either the artifacts or the keystoning. Uh, but other than that, laser projection is pretty awesome. It's very expensive currently, especially if you want any size. Uh, you do get very good brightness. They don't make a whole lot of noise. They, they generally give off less heat than other systems. Uh, you don't have to replace the bulbs. The mean time between failure on them is something like 100,000 hours, which is about 25 times as long as a DLP bulb would last, or an LCOS bulb, or any of the other projection technology bulbs would last, with the exception of LED. LED is basically as long as a laser life. Um, but yeah, laser projection is awesome. There's no whole lot, a lot of whole. There are not a whole lot of them to choose from, and they really require a dedicated setup because you have to put the projector where the projector wants to be. You're not just going to bounce between locations.